going. All right, now for our next dish, we're going to be making poached pears, stuffed with chocolate mousse, rolled in pistachios with some berries and vanilla gelato. So I'm going to turn you over to our sous chef, uh, Diana Panabiaco. She's been here for over four years. She's been a great help for me all the way through, and she's going to demonstrate this dish for you. Thanks, chef. Enjoy. Awesome. All right, so we're doing poached pears today and uh, chocolate mousse. Um, so I already have some chocolate that's on a double boiler right now, and it's about seven ounces of dark chocolate with six tablespoons of butter. Um, so I have that, it's already melted. So I'm gonna turn this off. And I have eggs, which I separated. So I had six eggs and I separated the yolk from the whites. And what I do is I put the egg yolks in a stand mixer or you can use a hand mixer as well. And I mix it with a little bit of uh, sugar. I did a quarter, a quarter uh, cup of granulated sugar and I whipped um, the egg yolks until they're a really light pale color and they're very light and fluffy. So I'm going to show you how to separate the egg yolk from the white. Now it's better for your egg whites actually to be room temperature. It helps the whites um, get fluffier um, when you're whipping them. But I do recommend a stand mixer or hand attachment because you're, it's going to take a little while. So for the whites or the, the, the yellow for the yolks, um, I'm going to mix those in with the chocolate. So you basically have the denser ingredients and then you're going to have the lighter ingredients which I'm going to incorporate after so you have a really nice light and fluffy uh, mousse. So I have the egg yolks here. I'm going to incorporate that with the chocolate. And we're going to do a folding technique with these just so you keep everything really light. And that's what you want with a mousse. So you'll come in and around when you're folding. So that all of it is incorporated into the chocolate. Now you do want to remember that since you're incorporating the egg whites, and I'm also going to whip some cream as well, that you want this base to be relatively um, room temperature just so you don't deflate the uh, egg whites and the um, whipped cream. So while I have that there, I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to actually whip some cream up. Now you could easily do this with a hand mixer or a stand mixer like I said, it's a lot easier. Um, but since there's only, I only did a half a cup of whipped cream, I'm going to actually do it by hand. It really doesn't take too long. So basically when I'm whipping this up, that chocolate mixture is going to cool down a little bit and I'm going to incorporate that egg white mixture first and then fold in this um, whipped cream mixture. So we'll just get the whipped cream to the point where it just thickens up. And that looks perfect. So now that the chocolate mixture has had a time to cool slightly, I'm going to incorporate the whites and then the whipped cream. So when you're folding, 
I'm going to actually do it in two batches just so the mousse stays really light and fluffy. And when you're folding, you go from the center and outward, just so you're kind of really gently mixing everything in. And the whole point of this mousse is really, really light consistency. So when you see that it's almost incorporated, I'm going to add the rest of the egg whites. For the best consistency for the mousse, you're going to want to chill this for an hour and you can either put it in a piping bag or you can actually put it in glasses, martini glasses would be really nice. So now I'm going to take the whipped cream, I'm going to fold that in. And then you're going to want to set this in the refrigerator just so it can set a little bit. Which I might have. Alright, so we'll set this aside. I actually might have to chill this a little bit. It's going to be challenging. Okay. And we'll get started on poaching the pears. So the pears I have today are actually seckle pears. They're really small, um, but they have a really nice consistency. They're very firm. They're really good for poaching. And if you can't find these in the store, Bosque pears work really well, Bartlett or Anju pears. And those are readily available usually at Publix or any grocery store. But today we're going to use the seckle pears because they're a really cute and pretty presentation. So. For the poaching liquid, I have two cups of water, two cups of white wine, and I'm going to do a half cup of sugar. And I have a cinnamon stick, and I'm going to do a star anise. And the star anise is just going to add a really nice, like, licorice flavor to the to the liquid. Where did I put that? And add a little bit of the lemon zest along with some juice. So maybe just a couple teaspoons will do. And then we're going to let that heat up 
And for the pears, all we do is peel them and keep the, t the stem intact. That's just going to be a nice presentation at the end. Once this comes up to a simmer, I'm actually going to put the pears in there. And they should take about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the size. These are smaller, so it'll probably be around 30 minutes. If you have a larger pear, it should take maybe around 40 minutes. But you want it to be, you still want it to be slightly tender. Um, you don't want it to be too mushy when it's done. So what I normally do is when I'm checking it, I actually just insert a paring knife just to see. And if it's slight resistance, then you should be good to go. Okay, so now that this has come up to a simmer, I'm gonna add the pears. And those, like I said, those will take about 30 minutes. And I would do it on a lower flame, just so they cook really gently. You don't want it to boil, just barely simmer. So you're just barely seeing some bubbles come to the surface. So while those pears are cooking, I'm gonna show you some macerated berries just for garnish on the side. So any berries or fruit you wanna garnish with, I'm gonna do some strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries today. Just gonna quarter the strawberries. And basically when you're macerating berries, it's just kind of breaking down the sugars in the fruit. So it kind of makes it a really nice syrupy consistency. I'm gonna add the blackberries, I'm gonna add some blueberries. And I'm gonna do a little bit of orange zest. Any citrus will really do. Um, I think the orange is nice with the berries. So you want to add like a teaspoon. The rind of the citrus is really strong, so you really don't need too much. And I'm going to add a little bit of the juice as well. add like a tablespoon of sugar. This will kind of help break down the juices a little bit. All right, now we're 
we're going to let that sit. And so for the pears, we're going to actually roll in some, roll it on some uh, pistachios. And before I crush them, I actually, I toast the pistachios. It kind of brings the flavors out of the nuts. It, um, it releases some of the oils and it actually gives it a little bit more flavor. So you roast those off and you can crush them either in a um, food processor or you can actually just put it in a bag and you can just hit it with, um, with the back of a pan or you can actually use a rolling pin, which I've done plenty of times too. But just so you want like a, I mean, a, a somewhat crushed just consistency. Just so when you're putting it on the, the pears, um, it actually sticks to them. So, okay. so when the pears are cooked, what we're gonna do to plate is we're going to cut the top off and we're gonna take the middle out because there's some seeds in there. Make a little base for the bottom so it has somewhere to sit. So we're taking the middle out so we can actually add the, the mousse to be kind of like the, the filler. So that's what it's gonna look like. And then the top, I actually have some melted chocolate here, which I'm just gonna dip the chocolate, or dip the pear into the chocolate, just for like a, a nice little presentation. So we'll leave that aside to, to dry a little bit. And to plate this up, I actually have two pairs here that are ready to go. It's in these two. So I'll put the pears and then I'll do the chocolate mousse. And since these are smaller, I'm just gonna kind of have the chocolate mousse just coming out. And then we're gonna do A nice scoop of ice cream. And I actually have some of the poaching liquid that the pears were in. So after the pears are done and they're cooked, what I do is I take the pear, when I take the pears out, I reduce the liquid just so it's a nice syrupy consistency. So it acts as a really, a really nice garnish for the pears. And that's what the pistachios are gonna stick to on the pear. So I'll do a little bit of that. A little pistachio. And then I have the macerated berries. the pear. 
repair tops back on. I'm actually going to do a little bit more of the, the poaching liquid for the pears. some of this too. And I have a little bit of some raspberry coulis just for some color. We'll do a little fresh mint and that should be it. So that's the poached pears with chocolate mousse, vanilla ice cream, and some macerated berries. Thank you so much for joining us today at the Chef Demonstration. Please come out and join us for Uncorked on Wednesday evenings and Friday evening, our fine dining evening. Take care and see you soon.